How are you doing? Are you doing good? Oh, what a crowd we have. Yeah, can we get another one? So, uh, our names, we are, we will be our, your hosts tonight. Uh, I just want to say welcome everyone to this wonderful evening where we will watch the DreamHack Cosplay Championship of DreamHack Winter 2023. We have me, I'm Nia Rain. And we also have our wonderful other host, Grimalkin Koss, right here. As your host, we will guide you through this wonderful night. And I promise we've got quite a great night before us, packed with more than 50 cosplayers, almost 60 cosplayers, right? Eagerly waiting to end this very stage tonight. It will be quite an exciting competition indeed. And I can't wait to see them show off their creations. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, oh, we start our grade here. Let I me see. So. Oh, maybe, it, yeah, maybe if we act with that, we can get a. Yeah. Oh, there we go. oh now we can so, hear your wonderful voice as well. Woo! Yeah, you can hear my lovely voice. We all like that one. So before we introduce our amazing participants, maybe we should also introduce ourselves, Sounds just so like you know idea. who we are a bit more. I like that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe I should start off with you. Uh, if you want to hear some information about Grim Malkin, she has been cosplaying since 2010. Can you believe that? 2010. She has seen the magic the community can create for a long time. Her history includes competing in the National and World Cosplay Summit in Japan. She has been hosting and judging at previous stream acts and has even worked full time as a cosplay barista. That one made me very curious, actually. Her biggest streaming achievement is having done a charity stream with Miss Mika and Disfree for 144 hours, twice. And if you have been at DreamHack for the few days now, you probably recognize her from hosting earlier DreamHack championships. And maybe you remember her entering stage as Pyramid Head. Uh, some years ago, uh, she also is a streamer and she has been participating in OTK Elevated Streaming Competition. Landed on live stream fails for accidentally putting her bird, Bert, on fire. Works as a game show host, has That'll competed and judged cosplay, started a cosplay organization and you can always find her on Instagram or Twitch. Thank you. I just want to say, clarify my bird, Bird. Maybe you've seen him around. Uh, he's he's uh, not for safety. He's not really real. I mean, but don't tell him that. Uh, well, I mean, maybe you're really flattering me. Uh, I have to say, and uh, I feel like um, I feel like we need to move on from uh, us now before I get all shy from all your flattering over there. And maybe it's time for us to continue to what this night is actually about the competition and oh what a competition it will be i mean come on it's yeah what will we see well we will see all sorts of cosplay ranging from all sorts of franchises we will see characters from games and series such as diablo and one piece maybe maybe and even overwatch and maybe we'll even get a visitor from silent hill did i hear silent hill Yes, you did. So you say that this stage might get placed by the steps from a tall, glorious figure with a triangular head for a second time? Maybe it will. It will be an extraordinary competition. And talking about competition, someone told me there will also be a game show during the judges' deliberations. Indeed. So make sure to not miss out on that, as we, for the first time ever, will launch our DreamHack Cosplay Quiz Bonanza. I came up with that my name myself, thank you very much. Where you in the audience can get a chance to compete here, live on stage with us, and might even win some fine prizes for yourselves. But before we come to that, we will, of course, get the pleasure of seeing all of our lovely cosplayers. The stage will be packed tonight, uh, as we'll be seeing more than, yeah, as I mentioned before, almost 60 cosplayers competing in four different categories. Cosplay kids, novice, artisan, and 
expert. And we, of course, have prizes for them. With a total prize pool of nothing else than 25,000 Swedish crowns, as well as several other prizes from our sponsor, El Giganten, this night is sure to be both thrilling and exciting. That is quite a prize pool, and I'm very excited. And I mean, to be able to figure out who is going to win. We, of course, need the very people who will keep us on our toes and eventually make the great decision of who will become our lucky winners this very night. So let's give up a round, uh, big round of applause for our judges. Welcome, guys. You all look fantastic. So, our judges, we have Ameno Cosplay. Cosplaying since 2009, she has represented Sweden in multiple international competitions. 2019, she placed third at European Cosplay Gathering with her Princess Daisy from Super Mario. Outside of Cosplay, she works as a tailor for theater and performing arts. Amino is not new to the DreamHack stage as she won first prize in our expert tier DreamHack Cosplay Championship during DreamHack Winter 2022 and we are happy to see her back. And then we have our second cosplayer, Mistwain, all the way from Belgium. Mistwain connected with cosplay uh, in two 2014 where he started challenging himself to create and entertain. Developing skills ranging from hosting uh, to foam, foam smithing, tailoring and electronics, just to name a few. He has gone on to represent uh, Belgium in a range of international cosplay competitions. Uh, and he has also taken home the first place in the European Cosplay Gathering, ECG, Season 9, and Poly Manga Global Easter Cosplay 2022. Just a year ago. Congratulations. And beyond the stage, Miss Wayne is a passionate designer and has collaborated with the team at cosplayshop.belgium to design cosplay armors for YouTube celebrities such as PewDiePie, Big Moist Critical, and Smosh. And then we have Sophie Rees. Our Nordic judge, Sophie, has been cosplaying for 14 years. She is a licensed hairdresser and works as Tinerific an agency for creativity, a lot related to cosplay, where she hosts panels and workshops, mainly regarding makeup and wigs. Wigs and makeup in cosplay is something that holds very true to her heart, and she's been doing that since the very start, where and she also, in 2011, co-arranged Kawaii Con, is that correct? Did you co-arrange Kawaii Con? Yeah. So, at every Kawaii Con, they have an opening show, so performance is something she is very, very knowledgeable about. Throughout the years, she has judged in competitions at various conventions and events in Scandinavia, and also worked as a cosplayer at a Japanese firm in Japan. Wow. I think we have a pretty good lineup, don't you guys? Yeah. yeah. Indeed. And uh, maybe, oh, can I, can I get to borrow your wonderful microphone? Thank you. Uh, you see, I mean, like, maybe we should also have some questions for our... Uh, oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, perfect. You're like the microphone, like, professional host here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, Amino, um, I'm, I'm going to ask some questions to our judges so we can get to know them a little bit more. So, Amino, we meet again. Uh, we meet again. Last time I saw you, you didn't only compete on this stage, you even won the entire competition for yourself. Has it finally settled? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it's uh, a bit ago, but... Yeah, it feels really good now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I spent the money. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, the, on something special? Uh, yeah, I upgraded the same costume. You so upgraded. I spent it on the same costume. <laughs> so you really went all in. So is that a favorite cosplay of yours? Uh, yes, it re really is. It, I had entered it in uh, some... Uh, in the NCC as well, and I placed, so I feel like that costume has really been like the the glory of my cosplay career. 
I mean, it was a very beautiful cosplay. Thank so, you. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. I, I must wonder, I must ask you, is it different? Is it a different experience to participate as a judge compared to a, a contestant? Like, I mean, how did, like, how, how, how was it? Yeah, how do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, it's it's very different. Like, if when you're a contestant, you have a lot more nerves because you feel like there you have something at stake. You can win and you can lose, uh, but you also get to focus on only you. Yeah. While as a judge, I have to focus on 60 people and give everyone the same um, attention and the. Uh, make sure that everyone feels welcome and seen and that they really want to go up on this stage and be their best. I mean, I'm very grateful to have you here today. And uh, maybe you want to uh, ask our next uh, judge uh, a little bit? I can try. So, Miss Fain, as someone who likes to challenge themselves with learning new techniques, what do you like to see in a costume when you're judging? Ooh, well, um, what I really like when I look at a costume I see the multiple layers that the contestants have put into their costume. Because you see one part of the costume and think, on, when, when you're looking at costumes later on, you're going to see something, right? And you're going to be like, wow. But we have been in the pre-judging and we've seen all the layers underneath and all the attention to detail that these contestants have put into the costume. It's wild, absolutely wild. Uh, and that's what I really love to see. Thank you so much. And then, I mean, of course, we have like one last little question for you. Uh, uh, welcome here, welcome here. Uh, so I just have to ask you, I mean, I'm sure you're eager to go down and look at these cosplays soon. But I mean, I know you've been competing uh, all around the Nordics and different competitions. Is there anything that differs DreamHack from uh, other competitions? Oh, definitely. Uh, first of all, it's so many participants in Sweden and like the different kinds of materials. It's real leather, it's warbler, it's folk, it's seams, it's everything. And I think that compared to other competitions, Swedes really use everything. All the materials, all the different techniques, you see everything here in Sweden. It's great. Do you hear that? Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, I'm sure that now when we introduce you all, uh, I think we shall let you all go down and take a seat here below the stage. Because I'm certain our judges here are just as eager as we all are to get this party started. So yeah. Well, yeah. we let them down and we're also going to take the opportunity to mention that if any of you in the audience or any of you watching from home at any point feel like you want to give some extra love to our lovely contestants, you can scan the QR code to get access to all of them uh, on social media. Meet media. Maybe you want to follow their Instagram or maybe even their Twitch. And you know what else? What? You can follow us there too. But let's wow. get on with this now, shall we? I think, yeah, I think we shall get started. Our first category tonight is the Cosplay Kids category. These are our youngest cosplayers. As, um, um, as all par participants in this category are under 15 years old. And I heard rumors we might even get someone younger, so we'll see. So might be. These are the cosplayers who prove that cosplay is truly for everyone. No matter who you are and no matter how old you are, here, the Joyce Cosplay is a focus, and it has become time for us to see this for ourselves. So, let's cheer for our first contestants in the category Cosplay Kids! Uh. So, first up on stage, we have Seraphin as Officer Skin Diva from Overwatch. Big round of applause. Our 
most players, HSN and Natsuki from Doki Doki Literature Club. Our last cosplayer is our youngest cosplayer. It's Moon Cosplay, Shibi Moon from Sailor Moon. Only one and a half year old. If that doesn't give you some star power, take you to the moon, I don't know what will. Next category. Here we have novice. Here we will see the cosplayers who got no formal education in any sort of cosplay related crafts or trades. They are also not allowed to compete in this category if they've won any cosplay competition on DreamHack before. This means that these cosplayers coming up have been self taught and some of them might even stand on stage for the very first time. So let's give up a big round of applause for our novice category. Our first cosplayer in the novice category is Molo Molo Cosplay. Molo G Cosplay as Lin Quill Warrior or Sub Zero OC from OC, uh, Mortal Kombat. Genshin Impact.
And Spooks Koss, Mugman from Cuphead. Our next cosplayer is AF Cosplayer Tiger AF is Mage, as well from Genshin Impact. Lucky Ace Cos as Kyoko Mogami from Skip Beat. Our next cosplay is Salsa Chan 92. No, no I think it's Rubber Duck Calls. Rubber Duck Calls. Uh, Rubber Duck Calls. That's Psycho for Borderlands 2. And now Sasuchan 92 as Vex from Legend of Vox Machina. Our next cosplay, Faye calls as Sally from Sally Faye. Pocky cosplays as Odette from the Swan Princess.
Sun Lee as Ayato from Genshin Impact. from Zelda by Joris Mask.
course as Link from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Our next conference is Mount Sexy as Lita from Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda uh, Twilight Princess. Alice as Zelda from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Never take anyone else's things, but help them re be returned. Very good. Uh, well, so, that was our novice yeah. cosplays. And now we have made it to the artist and category. In this category, we will see people who have, uh, who might have studied some cosplay-related crafts, or maybe even won a couple of competitions, but maybe don't feel ready to compete in our expert uh, category. Uh, all the cosplayers are self-made, and their work and creativity always, always leave us in awe. So let's make some noise for all of our contestants in the artisan category. Crafting Cat as Nami from One Piece. Up is Aya Crafts as Trevor Belmont from Castlevania. from Jugio DX.
Biggest cast as Pinocchio from Lies of P. What do I see? It is Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Next up 
is AC Cosplay as Buster Oak Trump from Oh No Cobalt. It has now become time for our last category, the experts. These are our cosplayers who want to take the competition to the next level. Everything we see are made from scratch. And some of them might even have years of education behind them. Most of them have probably been standing in the spotlight, maybe here, maybe in another stage. But we will see what they can show off for us now. So let's cheer as we welcome our last category up on stage, the expert category. Please welcome to stage Sting as Lucithea from Fire Emblem Three Houses. as Iguin from Witch Hat Atelier.
welcome a space cosplay as Brooke from One Piece. Tokoe a Snowstorm CV from League of Legends. Misa cosplay as Tiny Tina from Borderlands 3. Just 
Bentley and Corbett from Lord of the Rings. Next up is Unicorn Misha, Link from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And now, Cap's Cosplay Kingdom, Senua from Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Diablo 4. Applause, everyone. I mean, that was on. all of our experts, contestants. Wow. No, when we've seen them all, I think it's time to let the judges go and deliberate because I'm certain they have a lot to think about now. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile, I think we got something else in store for you. Because you thought this was it? Really Indeed. Guys? No, mm -hmm. this is not it. Uh, of now, it's become time for another competition. For the first time in history, we, together with Crixel, providing us with the possibility of doing this, we're going now to proudly present our Dream and Cosplay Quiz Bonanza, which means we will need three participants from the audience to compete here live stage in a quiz game with the chance to win prizes from our wonderful sponsor, El Giganten. Oh, we need also, three different persons. Yeah, so if you get picked, please follow the stage crew. Um, yeah, so we we hold up your, so raise your hand. Uh, raise okay, your hand if you're interested. Here, I think we've got, we've got a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe the sword, like, there's a sword there? Yeah, I think there, maybe there's like uh, with the sword? Uh, I think uh, is or that uh, f uh, the b that one? Yeah, the red one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, if you get won. picked, uh, you go over there to the crew over there, and they well, will guide fine. you. Yeah. Uh, do we see another one somewhere? Uh, who looks very excited? I see, like the guy with the white, like cap there. Yeah, yeah. You with the blue shirt. Yeah, you go over there as well. Did you see some more? Mm -hmm. I think. Oh I yeah, have you can go, you can stay down there. You can stay below on the stage, actually. You. Yeah. You can actually you can stay down there, and then we will come down and in I a second. And I think I see a checked uh, shirt. Uh, yeah. 
You. Yeah. Come on up. Now we have all of our three, uh, all of our three contestants. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, we they are we gonna prepare them and we're gonna set up all the game show. We are going to let you watch a little video of the extreme cosplay gathering competition uh, that is held in French. Then we will have the qualifiers for tour tomorrow. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes with for yeah. We will keep stay. Um, we come back in a couple of minutes with our little quiz show. Yeah. So. Uh, Stay for that. Yeah. Let's watch the video.
back, everyone. Hope, Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the video. Yeah. Now the stage has been prepared, and so have also our participants. Uh, but not too much, of course. Uh, are you ready to take place? I think we can welcome up our participants. Welcome up, and let's give them an applaud. Welcome up. You can uh, take place by our podiums. Okay, we have our three participants here, uh, up here. And uh, maybe, maybe we should ask what your names are. Elliot, very simple. Elliot? Oh yeah, actually, I want you to type in your names over there. So you can type in Elliot. That's okay. So we have our uh, first participant is Elliot, and our second one. There we go. <laughs> okay, first, first participant. Then we have D. Hobjorn, apparently. And the third one? So oh, let's see okay. here. What show is not a show without some technical issues? So, so uh, it actually turns out that we have a secret response here. Uh, but this is Wolfman. And he will actually have some hidden points, so it will be very interesting for Nia to be able to present yeah, everything. Let, why not spice it see. up a little bit? Yep. Elioro, yeah, mm. and D who Bjorn. Uh, let me, like, let's why not spice it up a little bit? You know, we have like our seized card over there. Uh, so what are we going to do in this great day game? We will need both our brains and reflexes to in the end be one of you will be crowned as the first winner of our little dreamy cosplay ship uh, cosplay quiz bonanza the first winner in the history how will it work you might wonder well uh, actually like this it's a it's quite strategy like quite a quite basic quiz game but of course with a little dream hack twist you will have five different categories to choose from, and the questions will be worth 100 to 500 points, depending on the difficulty. You will be using the buzzers to buzz in when you think what the answer is, and I will be, well, we will be picking the first question, and after that, the person who asks the correct first will be the person who chooses the next question after that. And if you answer wrong, well, we are kind, no minus points, but you will not be allowed to answer again on that very same question. Does that sound good? Everything understood? Perfect, wonderful. Well, in that case, are you ready to go? You see, I will be picking the first. Uh, I can, I'm going to mention our three uh, or, uh, or six categories, actually. Um, we will have cosplay trivia. We will have dad jokes. Ooh, we will have DreamHack, of course, and we will have PC Gaming, then Tabletop, and our last category will be Video Game or Retro Game Trivia. Hmm? So I will actually start with, it's a cosplay competition, and I will be very kind to you, so I will choose 100 points on cosplay trivia as the very first one. If you think you know the right answer, you press on the buzzer. Are you ready? The question comes here. What's the intermediate category you can compete in on Dream and Cosplay Championship? I hope you know that. Oh, we have El Yoro. Novice, was it? The medium? No, it was not novice. No, Diabjorn, Diabjorn. What is artisan? What is artisan is correct. Good job. 100 points to Bjorn. That also means you get to choose the next as question. As the answer. No. What do you want to pick from, Björn? Well, I take well, I take DreamHack 100. DreamHack 100. I hope you already know your DreamHack knowledge. What hall are we in right now? And fast, fast is what? Well, yeah, over there. Hall A. Hall A. Right. It's not Hall A actually. 
What is hall B? What is hall B is correct. That means it's your time, turn to choose our next question. Oh, uh, dad jokes, 100. 100. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Oh, think taco here. Think taco. What type of cheese do you have to taco? And the clock is ticking. It's a tricky one. Yeah? Uh, what is not my Roquefort? Uh, um, you can say it if you, without the um, Kale Joe. Uh, time is out, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, we let the other ones uh, take a guess here. If anyone, oh, if anyone wants to. Well, you have a couple of seconds left to guess. Cheat. <laughs> Did I correct that was nacho cheese. Uh, I see that someone out here in the audience knew that one. Well, that means uh, we will, since you know, no one got that one, we will let the participant with the, uh, with the lowest amount of points get to choose. Which means, uh, Wolf, I'm pretty sure that, let me see, Wolfman, you have, yeah, I think you are the one who gets to pick our next question. So, how many points uh, do you want to get? PC Gaming, 100. What do you say? PC Gaming. PC Gaming, how many points? 100. 100 points. Okay, PC gave me 100 points. Our question is, this company is known for its GeForce series of graphics cards. What is NVIDIA? What is NVIDIA is correct. 200 points. And you get the next, uh, pick the next question. Same 200. Which one? Same, Same 200. Okay, PC Gaming 200 it is. HDR is a term we hear more and more in video game gaming, but what does it stand for? High definition ratio. Ha no? That was wrong. Eliodo was quick on the buzzer. High definition range. That was also wrong. HDR. Bjorn, do you have any guess? You can guess, of course. There are no uh, minus points. It's high dynamic range, actually. So close, so close. Mm -hmm. Which means, I think it seems like Wolfman will get to pick our next question again, because no one got that one correct. So uh, which question do you want? How many points? Dreamhack 200. Oh. Wait, which one? What year was the first Dreamhack? 1993. 1993? 1994. 1994 is correct! Continue with the same 300. Same 300 points. Who is the presenting partner of Dreamhack Winter? Oh, is just smashing the butter. It is butter, uh, butter. Il Giganten, right? It's Il Giganten, of yeah. course it is! Well, you get to choose Which the next category? one. Oh, uh, I will. What is tabletop? Hmm? Tabletop. What is it? Uh, uh, board, uh, board games. Board games. Yeah. Uh, if you have like monopoly, I will try the one. One hundred for tabletop then. One hundred tabletops. What's the name of the world's biggest collector card game where different elements meet each other? Oh. What is Magic the Gathering? It is Magic the Gathering. That is absolutely correct. Well, I take the same 200, tabletop 200. Same 200? Tab what game became very popular again after a hit, a hit Netflix show? Oh. Chess. It was chess. So fast, I barely even get to read the questions here. Whew. Good job. Wolfman, so you get to pick the next one. Which category would you like to choose? Dad, dad jokes, 200. Dad jokes 200. How does a taco say grace? Oh, there's a lot of different ingredients. Uh, like, someone often predicted a salad. Yeah, Eliodo? Oh, guacamole. Uh. That was unfortunately wrong. Yeah, something you shall have a salad, something green. I'm trying to, like, you know, give you some hints here. Uh, and yeah. there I was like, yeah, this is going to be a good category. I'm like, it is. I love it. It's really tricky. Let us pray. I hear someone laughing out there. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Coming from Gothenburg, I'm like very proud of you. Uh, okay. 
let's see who is going to pick the next uh, question. It is Wolfman again. You get to pick the next question. Uh, video game, retro game, trivia, 100. Video game, retro game, trivia, how many points? Oh, here we go. What is the name of the new game featuring two Plumber Brothers? Mario? Mario Bros? Mario Bros Inc? <laughs> Mario Bros 8? Mario Bros I don't know if you're allowed to answer the questions there. It's like <laughs> Mario Bros 8, unfortunately not. <laughs> Luigi? Yeah. Does any of our other team members have any, or com contestants have an ID? The latest game that just came with the two Plumber yeah. Brothers. The Italian Plumber Brothers. No? You had your chance. You don't play your bar, your little games? <coughs> Sing it here. Oh, yeah? What is the game called, though? Yeah, someone press the buzzer. Oh, no answer. The correct answer was Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Okay, well, let's uh, Wolf my pick again, actually. Oh, Wolfram, which category? Let's go. Video game, retro game, trivia, 200. 200. 200 points. How many bits did the Super Nintendo Sega Mega Drive have? What, 16 bits? 60 bits is correct. And which category would you like? Next, same, 300. Same thing, three, same, you say same 300. Thing. Yeah, same thing, 300. Video game, retro game, 300. New Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was just released. But what year was the original Modern Warfare 3 released? You can always guess. 2007. 2007 is unfortunately wrong. 2010. Oh, we're getting closer, but unfortunately not 2010. 2005. 2005 is also wrong. If you were very close there with 2010, the right answer was 2011. Which means now, well, you know what? Yeah. Tabletop, well, three, yeah. tabletop 300. Tabletop? Okay, we're going for tabletop. This board game shares its name with the Beatles song. It is all about building connection between different cities. What? What is it called? What is this called? Ticket, Ticket to, ride. to Ride. Okay, but we're still here. Dreamhack 400. Dreamhack 400. Dreamhack 400. What year did Sabaton perform on Dreamhack? Oh. 2014. It, that is correct. 2014. Maybe some people remember that. <laughs> Same category, 500. We're in the last category there. In what country will the next remake take place? Atlanta, USA. What country will the next remake take place? India. Unfortunately, also wrong. Any guesses? You can always chance. The correct answer is Spain. Yep. Actually, Valencia, so Valencia, Valencia here one. in December. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's uh, let's see. Yeah, well, Wolfman. I take PC uh, gaming three hundred. This term describes the practice of running a computer component at a high clock rate. Oh. What's overclocking? It is overclocking. Okay, everyone. So. Let's move Same on category, here. 400. Same category, 400. In the VGA era, this company was well known for producing adventure games with detailed pixel art, like Space Quest. And no answer is a bad one. You might just risk it off. Nintendo? Unfortunately, not Nintendo. Which one could it be? Time is running out. And time no guesses. On. There we go. Yeah. So the right answer was Sierra Games. Okay, let let's shovel it. Uh, Wolf. Shovel it, well, Wolfman over there. Okay, never. 
Well, let me see. Let's, I think Wolfman has the least points right now. Oh, so yeah, we can yeah. Let so let's him see. pick the next question. Wolfman. Yeah. Which category would you like? Tabletop 400. Tabletop 400. Original was called the Landlord's Game, but on what name do we know for the legendary board game? Oh. Monopoly. Monopoly is correct. Right. And what would you like to go for next? Uh, same question, 500. Yes. Oh. So, Tabletop 500. Tabletop, okay. Warhammer is the largest miniature war game, but in what year is the future? Oh. Warhammer 40,000. That is correct. 40,000. 40K. That's Bjorn. We, we, Bjorn we, that means you get to pick the next question I because you're correct. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, gaming 500. PC Gaming 500. In 1996, a new technology started to change PC 3D. Oh, here we go going fast. 3D accelerated graphic. Uh. That was not correct. Uh, in 1996, new a new technology, technology started to change PC 3D gaming forever. What was the technology? The correct answer was 3D FX. It's Voodoo. getting harder the higher points you want, you know. So, so who 3D. should have the next question? Okay, yeah, let's uh, Wolfman. Uh, uh, no, actually, you know, Eliotto is the one who yes, gets to pick the next Eliotto. question. Yes. Uh, cosplay 200. Cosplay Trivia 200. Cosplay 200. What is a common name for the ter thermoplastic a lot of cosplay armors are made of? Uh, yeah. uh, latex. Uh. No. Eliodo, uh, you Eliodo? Think, Yeah, you press the buzzer. Uh, silicone. Is it silicone? No. What's Warbler? What is Warbler is absolutely correct. Yep. And it's a staple. Yeah, Bjorn, you, you so. get to pick the next question again? Yep. Same category, 300. Cosplay trivia, 300. What cosplay was Jessica Negri first known for? What Her very first, first uh, cosplay, uh, cosplay that got famous. Uh, yellow little character. Katara Avatar, no? no? Unfortunately not. <laughs> Guessing is always good. Yellow character from uh, a certain very popular Japanese game. The great dancer was Pikachu. Pikachu. She made a Pikachu cosplay yeah. that got very famous. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. uh, but don't uh, fret, Eliotta. You get to pick the next question anyways. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so which category would you like and which point? Uh, do the dad jokes, dad jokes. For 300? Yes, yes, yes of course. Yes. Yes. 300, 300, yes. How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? Not long. Unfortunately, not. Okay, think of what, what shows he has been participating in. I'm sure, like any of you out there, uh, like he got very famous for something in Bel Air. You follow the Fresh Prince because he participated in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> I know uh, they're tricky. You need to get. You need to bring forth your inner Gothenburgians in here. You know, yeah. yeah. Bring out your inner uh, dad jokers. So who are we going for now? Whose turn? Yeah. Let's see. Like, uh, let's see. Let's check how like our participants uh, feel like. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like we're gonna we're gonna work in here, Eliotto. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then I want uh, the video game retro game uh, trivia. 400. F 400? No, 500. 500. 500. We're going here. Yes, 500. Oh, we're yeah. going big. If you're unlucky with the spirit in Baldur's Gate 3, you can be forced to roll around like it, like this edible thing, which many also carried around in Skyrim. Oh, uh, something, something. Oh, Eliotto. Uh, you have to roll around uh, like a uh, salmon beautiful. or something. Yes, obviously. Still edible, well, but not the right one. Sweet roll. What other foods Haven't you do we have Skyrim? in Skyrim? Something big and round that took very lot of space. Uh, eatable. Wow. No, nothing. And what the answer is here? Well, as the Skyrim player, I am a wheel. Well, of it's a wheel of cheese. Close it up. 
yeah. just rolling. Well, uh, let's see here. Maybe we should uh, like see how our like how our participants feel. Like how are yeah. you? Yeah, like how are you? they ask them a question. Like, okay, how do you feel? Comf like, how do you feel so far? This is my first like ga quiz and gaming quiz ever. Nice. Uh, so I'm quite like. Uh, I feel like uh, very welcomed by this beautiful community. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Didn't you say this was also your first dream hack? First dream hack, like it was an impulse like two days ago. Like, let's just go to dream hack, and I didn't know what to expect. But what I've seen for real is like people from all ages, from all places of the world. Like I'm super shocked about like how tremendous this community is. Nice. Truly, wow. truly. And that we love. That we love. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, you know what? Actually, we will have one more question for you. Ooh. Okay, so let's do. Okay, or let's actually do a couple more. Um, you know what? Okay. Huh? Uh, let's uh, let me see. Uh, El Yoro. I mean, like you, uh, you said so nice. Talked about it so nice. And you know what? I'm gonna let you get to pick the next question. Really? Yeah. Then I want 500 again, and I want. Uh, 500 cosplay trivia. Obvious. Go out with a bang. Yes. In the world of cosplay, what does the team Gijinka refer to? Costume. Mm. Oh, it's a costume. Uh, it's something more specific. It's type yeah. of costume. Usually, you transform something from something it is into something it is. Or you it's the do. wig. No, not really. But it could be. It could be, but this is quite a... Well, it's you could if take you're in cosplay, a Gijinka you could take, can... You could technically say that Pikachu was one of those. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no last guesses? Yeah. Well, it is actually human designs of uh, non-human characters. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a 500. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. But you know what? Um, let's... Wolfman, we, you want to pick the next question? Video game, 400. Video game, 400. Video game, 400. Before City Skylands, there was another legendary city building game developed by Maxis. What was it called? Sim City. And that is correct, it was Sim City. Which means you get to pick the next question. Sorry, uh, yeah. I'm just very caught. I'm like, uh, this is exciting. Dad jokes, 400. Dad jokes, 400. What did the ocean say to the beach? What do what 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 are ocean doing? Oceans doing? I hear the grins in the audience. They're like like the water, and they are no nothing nothing. They just waved. Now we have two more questions. We have five hundred of dad jokes left and four hundred cosplay trivia. And um, Eliodo, you get to pick the next question. So do we go for 400 or 500? 500 dad, dad jokes. 500 dad jokes. jokes. Oh, let's go. That's my man. What concert costs just 45 cents? This is a tricky one. Oh, I know. We have uh, two favorite. A discounted 50 cent concert? No? Almost, almost. It was very, very close. Very close. 50 cents. But if this one costs just 45 cents. So what would it be? It would be 50 cents to get with someone else? Who could that be? It would be 50 cents featuring Nickelback. <laughs> because the nickel is, yeah, five cents. Yeah, tricky one. Yeah. And you know what, you know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna be nice. You know what, like, I mean, we, we all have one question yeah. left. So First dream hack, not much, I mean. Yeah. yeah, does any of you want to pick the next question? Yeah. No, I mean, it's only one left. Yeah, so. yeah, so. Let's go with it. Cosmic trivia, trivia. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the name of the foam that acts like clay and is often used for cosplay details? Also worth to mention, this question will be worth three times as much. You have to spice it up a little because it's the last question. Three times as much. Isn't it in Swedish it's Pal Lera, right? Isn't it like uh, with the small uh, foamy balls? I love how you're supposed to like describe it as well. We, we, oh, it's not yeah. the correct. It's often made of it's foam. It acts like clay. Yeah. You know no one. I know you know it. Well, actually, the answer is foam, foam clay. clay. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, it's made of foam, it acts like clay. Yeah, that's what it's actually, yeah. foam clay. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we have gone through all of our questions, and I mean, you, I, mean, I do have the answers and of how many points you have, and you don't know. I mean, you know some of them, but you don't know. So well, I will start from the bottom, and I think we shall all give them a big round of applause. On third place, with 300 po uh, 400 points, we have Eliodo! Our two other participants, one of them, I mean, I know you will know here, okay? But we gotta keep them a little bit tense, okay? One of them have 2,100 points. The other person has 1,000 points. And that means we have both has 1,000 points, which means Björn is the winner with 2,100 points! Congratulations! Congratulations! So, Wait. how does it feel? Amazing. Truly amazing. <laughs> Congratulations to your win. I mean, it is a cosplay quiz, and I think you did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think so too. It was very, very fun. Good. And that is what we're here for, right? Yes. Yes. And here, of course, you're going to have a prize. Uh, you will get some tickets to DreamX Summer 2024, so you can come back another time. Right? As well as this pop figure from El Gigante. Oh. Give, a, give him another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, I think it's time for us to say thank you to all of the wonderful audience participants. And uh, yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for thank participating you. Thank in you the so first much. version of our Kosovo quiz. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Well, that was quite a party. I, I was, I'm, I'm always, as soon as something comes up on a screen, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, I that was it. quite a party. The, the dad jokes, though. Yeah, I, I, I have a tendency to like dad jokes a little bit too much. Same. I mean, like, as I said, like, I come from the city of dad jokes, so. But you know what? You know what? Yeah. It's not over yet, right? No, exactly. Because the party is not over yet. And because we still have to find out who our winners are of the DreamHack Cosplay Championship of DreamHack Winter 2023. Who will take home the great prize pool of a total of 25,000 Swedish crowns as well as some fantastic prizes from Eliganten? And if you can't get enough of cosplays, we also want to remind you that to be tomorrow host the Swedish qualifiers to the extreme cosplay gathering, the ECG, right here at the main stage tomorrow at 3 p.m. During this competition, we will see many talented cosplayers fight against each other with wondrous cosplay performances that they have prepared and rehearsed just for this. The winner will get the honor of representing Sweden in the ECG in Paris in July next year. Yeah, and uh, well, I mean, it's yeah. been a lot of uh, wonder, uh, amazing cosplayers, and I think it's uh, time to shine the spotlight upon our amazing cosplayers again. I think so huh? as well, right? Yeah, because mm. so we always love to see more cosplay. I indeed, and I yeah. think from what I heard, it seems like our judges are done with the deliberations and. They have made a final decision. That's fantastic. I know they have been working hard for this uh, competition, and that work will now result in some of them bringing home some amazing medals and trophies, as well as taking home a part of a massive prize pot of 25,000 Swedish crowns, and as well as products from our sponsor, El Gigante. And not only that, as a bonus, there will also be some Judges' Choice Awards. These are awards that our judges will give to someone who, that they like, if they have personally want to uplift or maybe something that they pull their heartstrings a bit extra, this is where they can come in and just pick that person. Exactly why and how they decide this, we leave up to them. Well, let's wait no longer, right? Yeah. So uh, let's welcome our judges up on stage. Welcome, 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 welcome up. Uh, I bet you've had a long day and I think you're quite ready for this very moment, right? 
Yeah, you are. Uh, so, um, shall we um, shall we welcome up our contestant in the first category? Mm. Cosplay kids. Well, then we welcome up our cosplay kids participants. I see them waving. It's like, yeah, yes, get up there. Amazing. Here they come. come on, Give them guys. applause. Our cosplay kids category. Absolutely amazing. And since we all believe in the fun of cosplay, do you guys do you guys agree that they should all get awards, right? Hmm. Mm. Do we agree that they should all win awards? Well, the fun thing is, all the kids category did such an amazing job that we absolutely unanimously agree that they should win an award. Hopefully, kickstarting their career into cosplay. Do you have any words of advice for our fantastic lineup? I don't know. Do you have words of advice? Uh, keep cosplaying, and you're gonna be the best. Ditto. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's yes. take some step yes. forward since it's so Please our photographers can take some photos of all of you all. Yes. Welcome all forward. You guys. And let's give them another round of applause, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, well, I think we can let you go for now and uh, let's continue to our next category. Give our, give our ki kids cosplay contestants a big round of applause another time. So, thank you so much. So, if we can, I think- You're free yeah, to go. You should probably need some rest as well. So, if you guys head off stage for now, we will announce the next Category. So next up, we got our novice tier. Here we will have a third, second, and first place. Whom of the joke just would like to start it off? Yeah. Shall we uh, welcome them up on stage? Yeah. This year? Yep. If we have yeah, our we welcome. participants. So yeah, if novice can come up on stage. I feel like we're been, yeah. yeah. You can all see how we've been moving more this direction because yes. there are a lot of participants this year. Here they are, welcome them up. Big round of applause for our amazing novice category cosplayers. Yeah. Oh, there are so many. Okay, yeah. there we go. Oh, we oh, yeah. need to move even yep. worse. <laughs> I think we'll move up here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is when cosplay gets fun. It's so nice to see everyone lined up. Great. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so if you, st yeah, we get Sofiri, the organizer, just pops in and knows where everyone's to go. <laughs> oh, here they are. Well, well, welcome up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Our judges yeah. can uh, move forward a bit so we can hear their uh, choices. Okay, so. For our uh, novices, we have been so impressed that for some of these uh, people, th this has been their first cosplay. And to be on this stage and be so amazing, to be uh, a character on stage and also to go into the judges' room and present your cosplay to us, you have all been absolutely amazing. And I hope you all keep uh, cosplaying and competing. Uh, but we have three awards to give out, and first, we have uh, our second runner-up, and that is Bass Cube as Clicker! <laughs> All right, that means that we're going after the third place comes the second place. So, that second place goes to none other than, can I get some noise? 
The second place goes to Klee. Congratulations. Please go to the front and take your pictures. Show your award. Yeah. And of course, after third and second, we have a first place to give out. And I want to hear some stomping from the audience. And the winner of the novice uh, competition is Astrid. And I would like you to give a huge applause to the whole of Novice category. Also, could all of our three winners take some steps forward for our dear photographers? Yes, so first, second and third place, please take your center stage and show off your prizes and costumes. All the love, everyone, come on. This is amazing effort that they made. Novice category. Thank you to all of our novice contestants. Uh, we will now let you down from the stage. And give, our, give them all another round of applause because they've been working really hard today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. So if you head off stage, we will take the next category after you guys. May we hope that their wonderful performances give you a shot to try it next year as well. Definitely, guys, everyone. But shall we start to welcome our next category, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it's not over yet. We uh, have to go to our next category, the artisan tier, which means we shall also welcome all of them up on stage. Yes, so and may we... There are quite a lot of people as well. There are a lot of people. Uh -huh. And I do love how this feels like an RPG. We're like, okay, there's one move, two moves. Yeah, exactly. So can we get all of the artisan category cosplayers up on stage? Welcome them up, because we always want to see more of you guys. This is absolutely fantastic. Let's just move forward so they all can fit in here. I love how you guys were like, oh, we're going to work the furthest end, almost skipping down. That's the, that's the ship orientation for you. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, our dear judges. It's a room there, right? <laughs> we can just announce the winners from right there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, do you want to know who won the third place at the audition? Yeah, you seem excited. Okay. For the third place, not too excited, my dude. <laughs> For the third place in the artisan category, oh. goes to Johan from Duolingo. Congratulations. Please move to the front of the stage so yes. people can take a picture of you. Of oh. course, you need to show it off. It's like mid-stage here, show it to the world. Big round of applause, everyone. And then we have the runner-up. And can we also get some stomping for the runner-up? And the second place goes to Max Malos as Anna Amari. Oh, 
Congratulations! Don't they look amazing? Yes, they do! We have still one prize in the artistic category, and that is, of course, first place. So, get the some stomping going. Oh. First place winner in the artisan category is AT Cosplay as Buster Oxam! Center stage, and it's like, yes, show off your prices and your costumes. Absolutely yeah. fantastic, everyone. Yeah, take a couple steps forward, so our photographers can take exactly. some photos. So our photos. photographers can take some great prices. Absolutely, there we go. Some posing, one, two, three. There we go. And thank you, audience. You got it. That's the spirit. <laughs> Well, congratulations to all of our winners in artisan category, and thank you all of our cosplayers in this category. Um, give them another applause as we let them leave us for tonight in rest. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah. And we got to see some Silent Hill as well. We did get to see some Silent Hill. <laughs> Pleases me. But it's not over yet, right? It is not, because now uh, we are moving towards our last category. But remember, cosplay is something that is for everyone, and regardless of what level you start out, when you start, doesn't matter. This entire lineup that we've seen so far tonight and everything is so much of a proof to see that cosplay is for everyone, and uh, there's always a stage here for you. Very but well I think said. it's time now for our expert tier category, right? I think so. Are you ready, judges, for our expert tier category? You look yes. super ready. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Then we shall let uh, welcome up our expert tier contestants. Up Here we stage. go. Expert tier. Big round of applause, yeah, everyone. Give them some love, so everyone. We can squeeze some out of it, yes. Here we go. Trying to make space for all of them. Look at this stage being and filled with all these beautiful cosplayers. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, judges, we are very curious, of course, to hear what you have to say now. Yes, uh, so first we have some judges awards to give out to some cosplays that we really think deserves a mention and a prize because all of these cosplayers have been absolutely amazing and we just give out a few honorary awards to someone we felt really needed that little special treatment. Um, so for my special award, I have chosen a cosplayer that had some amazing needlework techniques in their costume and uh, the fabric choices were really thought of and they just had a splendid costume that moved like a dream on stage. So my judges award goes to Trip Trap as Iguin. Good job! And wearing a mask, trust me, it's never easy in cosplay. So always respect the mask wearing people. 
and then it's my judges award. Um, I thought the costume looked so clean. It was just so well made. It looked like you pulled it straight out of the game, and I just, I just knew already when they entered the judges room that I wanted to give them my award. So my judges award goes to Misa cosplay as Tiny Tina. Dude, you just award gone, one to go. I look at these contestants from a more entertaining perspective. And I thought that I could award one of the contestants that captured my heart with their continuous acting on stage. So ladies and gentlemen, my judges award goes to none other than Lisa Tia from Fire Emblem. Congratulations. Congratulations. And it, it has uh, become time. It is absolutely time. You're right. We are ready. But are you ready to know who won the expert category? Give it to you, so. I just want to say that the level of like craftsmanship in the expert category was insane and you all did amazing and it was so hard for us to decide. We're not friends anymore, just so you know that. So <laughs> let's give out the third place. And can we get some noise for third place? And the third place goes to Brutus Cosplay as Go Bag. So sexy with the <laughs> Then we have our runner up in the expat category. Like I said, we have seen some excellent craftsmanship. These winners, whew, this has been hard. But our second runner up, no, first runner up. <laughs> second place. Second place is none other than Kaiva as Raven Warlock Odin. Are you ready to blow up this place? The time has come. And the first place goes to none other than... Louder. Are we ready, everyone? Louder. First place goes to Senua. I can say one final thing. It was incredibly hard to select the winners, but all these experts put so much time and effort into it that they deserve an amazing applause. You can take it away. Thank you. Well, 
I have to ask you a question. First of course, the obvi oh, the, of course, the obligatory. How do you feel? Very, very good. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate? Uh, a, a car ride home. A, a lot of sleep. <laughs> a lot of sleep. I understand that you've been working hard and you deserve that. Thank uh, you. Big congratulations and please step forward so we can get some good photos of you. And then I would also, after that, also want all of our expert winners to take uh, step forward so we can get photos of yes. all of our winners. So our top three, there we go. And our photographers can get some great pictures of you there. Please. Also, our, uh, our Judges' Choice winners can also take a step forward. Judges' Choices, please join in. <laughs> and now, when we see all of our winners, I think it's time if, to see if we can get a photo of all of our wonderful participants tonight. So, time to make this stage tight and cozy. So, yeah, let's and, uh, uh, everyone welcome everyone on stage. Up. Come up here. Let's take some photos of all of these amazing people. And I think we might need to come yeah, forward. Yes, come as forward. We well. yeah, probably have to take several lines here. Yeah. Just squeeze in, everyone, nice and tight. So, please feel free to do line two, line three. <laughs> We've done this in school, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So please feel free to take your stage because we want to see everyone. Almost 60 yep. cosplayers everyone. here Fill on the stage. stage. Everyone, feel free. Yeah, please the stage yes. is yours. Yeah, all the winners, please, uh, you can stay uh, stand in the front. So go. all of the winners, so every, all please of can step forward to stand in the so very all front. The win prize winners, please feel free to step forward. So. All the prize winners, please. Up yeah, everyone stage. can just give up. We uh, uh, get up on the stage. Uh, we have to squeeze a little bit and like take several lines. So Absolutely. just continue to move forward here. Yeah, you, you you can continue to go in front here. There we go. We always think the stage can never be big enough, and I think that's always going to be like that. I mean, come on, everyone. How amazing hasn't this been? And look at everyone. This is cosplay. Give them all a big applause. <laughs> Meanwhile, I also, while we take some photos of them, also want to remind you uh, all in the audience, uh, that I and also you who are watching from home, that about our ECG qualifiers here tomorrow on the main stage at 3 p.m. More cosplay? And this time, even with some performances. And if that is a cosplay for you, enough cosplay for you, we also encourage all of our visitors here coming tomorrow to visit our cosplay workshop, which you can find, uh, which you can find in the B Hall by the Lego Building Stage from 11 to 16 in the B Hall. So now let's celebrate with all everyone with some photos of our cosplayers and give them some more applause. You can, you can, we can all gra gather up. Do you, uh, main, it's like, come on. Yeah, please everyone step forward a little more. Yeah, And perfect. maybe our judges want to join as well, some pictures? Yeah, I mean, come, come in, on. everyone. Yeah, so. Everyone, picture time. There we go. And while we're watching all of the wonderful contestants here tonight, I want to say thank you, everyone. This was all for this year's edition of Dream Make Cosplay Championship. Thank you all for joining the competition and all of you who came to watch this show tonight. Thank so thank you, you so tonight. much. Yeah. Thank you for tonight. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great, wonderful rest of DreamHack.